that kind of that kind of looks like shit. I tried. I tried something different. I tried to get things a little bit more exciting. Whew. Day 35 of quarantine. My hair continues to grow. The bowl cut is inevitable at this point. My ability to cosplay as the main guy from Magical Senpai grows stronger every day. Which means all I need now is a uh, Magical Senpai. So ladies, uh, my DMs are open. Or guys, I mean, I don't really discriminate. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we are returning to the fan favorite Weeb unboxing. As you can tell in front of me, I got several packages from viewers just like you over the last couple of months. This video originally was supposed to come out more towards like the end of April, but uh, because the other video I'm working on right now is having some delays with shipping and all this other jazz, this video came first, so yay. Yeah, with the uh, coronavirus going on, it's just been tough for me to get that other video done. Oh, I'm not supposed to say I don't work in a YouTube video anymore. All right, editor, going forward, whenever I say I don't know, work, just replace it with me saying anime titty. Actually, no, replace it with me saying anime titty with a D. That way we'll all know what the uh, the code word is going forward. We're gonna push all these kind of girthy boys to the side here. And we're gonna start with this uh, this manila envelope. I probably shouldn't be flapping it like that. I mean, it, it survived the trip this long without getting bent, it looks like. Handle with care. Handle handle with care and then add an arrow pointing towards me. So this comes from the viewer, Jenny. Thank you, Jenny, for sending me this it's, I mean, I haven't opened it yet, but I'm just gonna thank you ahead of time. I actually have a knife today too, but uh, it's gonna be this one I found in our kitchen, and I'm not 100% sure what you would use this for. It looks like something you would unlock in Counter-Strike. Whoa! It's a note and a piece of artwork. We're gonna start with the note because notes to me are just, are just sublime. So it says, to anime please from Ginny, and it has all our different social media, which I'll add here if you guys wanna check it out. It says, a gift for my favorite YouTuber. Ugh! Ah, uh, right in the feels. This is Dear Anime Please, I just wanted to say thank you for always giving us your best when it comes to making your videos and making us laugh. I look forward to them very much. I asked you on your live stream on who you would want a drawing of. I figured that it would be your waifu Centora. I hope you enjoy it. It took me a while to draw her out and color her. Keep up the great work, Jenny. It says, oh, P.S. Thank you for helping me get into figure collecting. You're welcome, I think. I mean, that's both kind of a curse and a, and a blessing, but uh, you're welcome. And this is the artwork here which just looks my god it just is amazing i love that picture of centoria too that like puzzled expression she makes just ah uh, thank you jenny that is a very cool piece you picked one of my favorite pictures of centoria which is pretty much any of them um except the ones that are not cool furry community i'm i'm looking at you next little package comes from us from comes from us from phil i think is what that says either says dill or phil so i'm assuming phil hopefully none of these have like anime titty all over them we got ourselves a suspicious a, a, a suspicious nice little uh cardboard box here i'm both excited and slightly terrified you guys hear that? Something going on in there. Uh, let's let's free the beast. Wait a minute! I recognize that. Didn't I get one of these in the in one of the otaku boxes? Yeah, it's the uh, the time I got reincarnated as a slime. Slime. Go slime. Go. Okay. Well, we also have another note. Let me get out my. Uh, reading glasses. It says, hi anime please, I'm Phil from the UK. I have my own YouTube channel called Etchy Haven, full of anime girls. Huh, you've uh, you've piqued my interest already. Pretty much anything that has anime girls and then Haven in the name, um, you're doing just fine. Oh, by the way, your collection of figures is so amazing. I have a small collection of Bushu Shinki plus Frame Arm Girls figures. I recognize half of that sentence at least. I love Monster Mizume as much as you, too. Keep up the amazing YouTube channel, Philip. Well, thank you, Philip. I will be sure to uh, try my best. That's why I recognize this stuff. This is a Taku box stuff. Yeah, no, that's that's why that uh, keychain looked familiar. Yeah, it's the, yep. Yeah, there's the there's a little phone charm thing there, the Albedo one. And then we got the, uh, the Taku box 
pin there as well. At least it's uh, Mia for Monster Mizume. You're dabbling close to waifu material with Mia, so yeah, I mean, that might get a pass. Thank you, Philip, for sending me those goodies all the way from the UK. It's pretty darn cool that I actually have fans over there. The next box comes from us from Leroy Man, Leroy the Man Jenkins. Leroy has not only sent me goodies in the past, but has also been uh, a longtime subscriber and uh, supporter of mine. So thank you, Leroy, not only for whatever goodies might be entrapped in this cardboard prison, but uh, for the support over the years. Yeah. I must also say before I open this, Leroy, is your use of Santa stamps there is amazing. I'm I'm digging all those different Santas. And we have another note here. Oh, it says, please read on camera. I got you, Leroy. It says, hello, anime, please, one, two, three, I have returned. I've prepared a small yet exciting package for you to unbox. I think you will enjoy it. You think, Leroy? Since I began watching your channel, I've expanded my figure collection from around five to now over 30. Damn. You're growing faster than I am. You and the community you have built is filled with positivity. You are a very genuine person. That along with your charming dry sense of humor is what makes you enjoyable to watch. I would say I'm pretty dry. Yeah, I think the monotoneness and that kind of slightly sarcastic nature of me uh, would... You mix that together, you get, you get dry. You don't put on a front, you are just yourself. I hope that you continue to make videos and continue to find success. I am honored to have been a part of your supporting cast since the early days. I like to think that we are good acquaintances, maybe even friends, and I hope to keep it that way. You enjoy your surprise and have an amazing day. Well, thank you, Leroy. That was a very nice note. And yeah, I mean, I would say that the community we've made is full of positivity. And, and, and deep down, we're all friends. Whether you're a dub or a sub or a demon slayer or a, or a kill a kill or a, a magical senpai. At the end of the day, we all love the anime titty. Ken to ya... Ken... Ken to Yuma? I, I don't know what that means, but we're gonna find out. Out of the box. Out of the box. Stranger danger. Jesus Christ, what is this? Limited edition collector series Ken to Yuma. Translate to horse with a sword. Enjoy this one-of-a-kind centaur high school girl sword made in trap anime figure unlike any other one-to-one -one ever made. Centaur high school girl sword made in trap. What did I just read? We got uh, we got a little base there, a rock, and we got some moss. That's what the that's what this stuff is. Okay, I want to be as careful as possible here, as not to disrupt the nature of of whatever you have created. <laughs> Leroy, what did you? What did you? What did you make here, Leroy? I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll, I'll definitely zoom it in, but there's there's physics. There's actually physics on this figure. I've never seen that before. But we got a... A... Centaur... High school girl... Sword maiden. And then I can't really show you the last part, but... Trap as well. So... Up under, you know, trap. Thank you, Leroy. I wasn't expecting that. We'll, we'll say... We'll say that much. You, uh... You outdid yourself once again. <laughs> this box comes from Fernando, so let's see what goodies Fernando has sent me. Fernando, I recognize that name. Once again, we got ourselves another note. It says, two anime please from Fernando. It says, two anime please, awesome videos you have been putting out on your channel. Keep up the good work, but I always see you struggling cutting open your figure boxes, so I decided to give you a handy tool that will make your unboxing experience a whole lot easier. What, you mean using this, like, Pairing knife or whatever this is and isn't the ideal way to open a box. So no more using that charging cable You have been using it says PS the otaku box October 2018 is your best video in my opinion You should react to it on the next stream. Well, I might have to Fernando. Uh, I mean that's That is my worst video at least in likes to dislikes like that really triggered some people so oh my god We got the America look at this Look at this blade my god. Have you ever seen a more American thing? than a Chinese knife. How do you know if I trust myself wielding this level 30 knife? I love that. It's all like, America! <laughs> then like right here, it's like, made in China. That's irony. It's pretty sharp, yeah. Well, thank you, Fernando. Yeah, this is something like I'll actually use, so I'm, I'm pretty excited for that. This next box comes from us from the user Jake, and uh, this is quite a heavy one. This is the uh, plus size elf of the boxes that we've opened. I mean, I, that doesn't really make sense. I just wanted to bring a plus size elf. Absolutely 
pouring out. I guess we'll start with this little bag here. It's like a little rim plushie slash keychain. I just started every single one of my videos just like, just direct eye contact for 10 minutes doing this, just straight face. These are so cute. I mean, I, I could not get into the plushy collecting side of things just because I, I would have like 50 of these. I would look like a 12-year-old a girl with my bed. It'd just be a pile of stuffed animals. All right. Oh, we got little Miku figures. What the heck? Atsune Miku Renewal. Yeah, these look like little surprise Miku figures where you can get all the different uh, vocaloids. That's pretty cool. Let's see what we can get. Number one. Ho ho ho. ho, ho. Number two. Number three. Yeah, the, the gang's all here. Looks like we got a Luka, a Sakura version Miku, and then just the standard good old fashioned, literally will never cease being the cutest thing ever. Hatsune Miku. Those are those are awesome. Thank you, Jake, for sending me those. Oh, we got one more box here. Oof, yeah, this is. This is the heavy one. Here, you know what? They'll be in the... Look, they're they're in the snow, guys. They're playing in the snow. It's snowing on them. Whoa. And it looks like we have ourselves another note. What up, AP? I've recently been doing some downsizing in my collection. I had a few things I thought I'd send your way. Maybe you can appreciate them. If they're just not your thing, feel free to re-gift them to anyone who might. Uh, no hard feelings. I love your humor, your editing, and your reviews. You're my favorite figure, anti-tuber, and I've... Oh, wait, wait. Oh, anti-tuber, not anti-tuber. Annie, like anime. Okay. I. Uh, P.S. The Magical Witch is not what she seems. Go ahead and... Have a look. Yeah, thank you for that letter. Um, I'm curious. The first thing I see is Comey Can't Communicate, which I actually just picked up the first issue, so I can definitely use that for the next giveaway. Um, but this makes me excited. This means that you have good taste. But it looks like you also sent me... Oh my god, you sent me the whole... You sent me the whole plethora of them. I got issue two now and issue three, so I'm going to be set for the near future. That'll just make this whole anime titty thing go by that much quicker. Then we also have some, oh my gosh, we have some anime. We have the pet girl of Sakura Soa. I've actually seen this recommended to me before and I've, I've never seen it. So yeah, this is, this is perfect. This will give me something new to watch. Then we also have the magical witch P Puni Chan, which I've never even heard of. Oh no, I've seen parts of this actually, because I, I I I know that rock. That rock looks familiar. Yeah, a little rock with a face. He also said something in the note that this is not what it seems. So I am. Oh, okay. Something going on here, kind of soapy. I don't. Can you guys make out what that is? We got ourselves a Sonico pillowcase. Regular pillowcase, not a docky, just just regular pillow, which is nice because I have enough dockies to be honest, um, but I'm still using normie pillow covers, so this will really just, once again, increase my weeb level. I've been kind of on a Sonico kick lately too, so you timed that uh, perfectly. I just ordered a a 10,000 yen poster of her, so um, I'm kind of I'm kind of simping for Sonico right now. Thank you so much, Jake, for sending me that. That is a very nice pillow cover, and then the figures and the anime and the manga, like that was. That was a lot, so I, I definitely appreciate it. Alrighty, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of Weeb Unboxing. Thank you to everyone who sent in a package. I do appreciate you guys. You guys make these videos possible. If you want to send me in a package for the next Weeb Unboxing, my P.O. Box will be listed down in the description. All my other social media will be down there as well, so if you want to see little insights to my Weeb life or things I can't show on YouTube, definitely check out my Discord and my Instagram link. But thank you for watching. Thank you once again for everyone who sent in packages, and I will be sure to catch you guys in the next video. Peace.